Hey beauties, thank you for watching another YouTube video of mine. So today we're going to be doing a makeup look which is what I have on right now. And this was inspired by the new Nickelodeon makeup palette. I got this a couple days ago from Hot Topic and I am just loving it. It has literally my whole childhood into one makeup palette. So I had to do a makeup look and a review at the same time with this. So if you guys want to know how to get this makeup look, just keep on watching and I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. Okay guys, so I'm first starting off my makeup look with my primer. I'm taking a little dab and smoothing that out onto my eyelids, making sure I get everything, every surface, every corner. I did do my eyebrows off of camera just to speed this tutorial up faster. I probably will show that in a later video, but right now I just didn't want to bother them or take the video any longer. So as I'm doing that, making sure everything's good, I then take a blending brush. And I take my palette and I put it in the color O Fish Sticks. Um, o Fish Sticks is a kind of like a grayish, whitish put together tone. I did have to pack it on a little bit to get a little bit of pigment on it there. Um, it didn't really bother me though because I'm just using Fish Sticks as a base color, kind of just to smooth everything out and make sure my eyelids were prepped and ready to go. So it wasn't a big deal that. There wasn't that much pigment on there. It's just kind of like a kind of like a foundation to start off my whole makeup look with. So I'm just blending that in, making sure everything is good. Keep going back and forth. And please excuse my messy hair. I know it looks terrible, but usually when I do makeup looks or if I'm going out, I usually start my makeup first before I do my hair because I just feel like it's kind of pointless if I straighten or curl or do my hair and then I have to put it back up or put it back just to see my face to start doing my makeup so that's the reason why my hair looks so bad please excuse that so I'm just going back in and forth um, so you can see there's a little bit of pigment not nothing too crazy though and then I'm going back into the palette and I'm going to high ho diggity with this beautiful cheesy basically like Cheeto puff uh, orange and as you can see I'm shook I love it it's blended out smoothly there was so much pigment on there it was just crazy so as you can see I'm just fluffing that back in there with the same um, blending brush and wow looks beautiful so as I'm buff um, buffing that in I'm kind of going towards my eyebrow with it but not too much just kind of wanting to blend that out just a little bit because I am putting the color back on top of this orange one so I'm just taking that and yeah so I just want to ask because um, I know in the beginning of the video I did say this new makeup palette it's not really new it kind of has been out already but it was kind of new to me and I don't know if it was anybody else that um, was like super excited to see this palette come out but I don't think anybody was excited as I was like I literally was so excited because like I said earlier this was basically my whole childhood into a makeup palette and I don't know I just loved it so I'm going back in with that um, orange that high ho diggity back onto my other eye also just blending that in And guys, like I said, this color is so freaking cute and so beautiful that I I think this probably was one of my favorite colors out of the whole palette that I thought was worth. Um, and I think it was really great for Nickelodeon. It is part of like one of their main colors is orange. And it was beautiful. I loved it. So I'm just keep going back and forth doing like a windshield wiper motion. Um, as you can see, just going back and forth, back and forth. There was a little bit of fallout, just so, um, you guys are wondering, like, why is she wiping her eyes? There was just a little bit, but nothing too bad to where it would, like, smear and it would cause something really bad. I am going in and I'm taking the pink 
glittery shade called All Dolled Up. And this color was also beautiful. It's kind of like a bright pink shimmery color. It did have like little bits of sparkle in there and I'm just going in there and I'm kind of just packing that on mostly on the main part of my eyelid. Um, kind of like where you would do like a cut crease. So I'm just doing that, packing that on there on top of the orange shade. And then taking back my blending brush and trying to blend it in with that orange cheesy um, color. I'm also doing that on the other eyelid, just taking it, repeating the same steps I was doing before, just putting it on the main eyelid, kind of like a cut crease. I'm then going back in with a clean um, blending brush, just a different one, and making sure it all blends in nicely. And I'm going in with the shade You Idiot. Um, it's a brighter, brighter, almost like a um, red, pinkish color. And then going into just the corner of my eyelids and then also up more in the crease part just to try to blend those two colors um, together. Anyways, guys, like I was saying, was my favorite cartoon is a 90s baby was the Regrets, and I had all of their VCR tapes, and I had VCR. I would watch all of their shows every every chance I could get. <laughs> I'm then taking a flat brush, and I am going with this purple color. And I'm then putting it also on the out corner of my eye. And that purple shade is called I Am The Boss. It is very, very pretty. It is a, like a dark um, purple color. Kind of like a periwinkle pur uh, purple color. And it blended beautifully with all the other colors. Like literally all the colors that I've chosen so far besides the fish sticks one have been very pigmented, blended out smoothly. Um, I'm then going in with uh, the clean blending brush again, and then I'm smoothing out the I'm the boss and the um, you idiot, and together with the orange shade also, and just wanting that to come out more and define as like a wing in the end of the corner of my eye. And like I said, these colors right here are beautiful. They blended in amazingly. Just besides fish sticks. I don't know why that one, I don't know, maybe it's just because of the color of my skin. It seemed very translucent and just kind of like dissolved into my skin color. But, I mean, it's not the first time I've had colors do that to me before. And I'm pretty sure other women of color have had that done too. So, it wasn't that bad. But... Um, at least I didn't do that with all of the colors. All, most of them seem to come out really good. I am then going back into the orange blending brush that I had, that I had just with the hi-ho diggity color on. And I'm just going back and defining the orange color back in there just so I don't lose it because that is my favorite color out of the whole palette. And I thought it was more of a, like, the highlight color out of this whole palette. Just going back in there and putting it back on. Just going back and forth, making sure all the colors are prominent. And everything seems really great, beautiful so far. So I'm showing you guys here. And then taking a makeup wipe brush and just 
defining that line. I kind of like my um, eyeliner or my eyeshadows and eyeliner and stuff to be um, just sharp. I like blending, but I also like the end pieces by like the corners of my eye to be super sharp and everything. So that's what I'm doing. With that I'm then taking an angle brush, what you would use for your eyebrow, and I'm going with the color Roar. It is like a green shimmery color. And I'm putting that on my eyeliner as the slime effect. Now with this color, I didn't, I liked it because it did show up. It was pigmented and everything like that. But what I wish the color was, was like the green slime that they usually have in Nickelodeon. Like I wanted it to be like the neon um, green that they have, you know, that Nickelodeon is pretty much famous for. Which is their green slime that every kid wanted to play with. Um, watching their show and I thought that's what the color like what Nickelodeon would have automatically in their palette kind of like the orange um, shade also but when I seen this I guess um, I was a little disappointed <laughs> so then I am taking my Kat Von D eyeliner and I'm just going in there with um, my pin and I'm making the uh, drippy effects on the corner of my eye to make it look like the slime is dripping literally off of my eyeliner and just making it sharp as I possibly can again guys you don't have to make this perfect because it is supposed to be dripping effect it doesn't have to be amazingly great and then I'm going back in there with the roar green shade and just filling in making sure I didn't miss any spots I then have my Anastasia Glow Kit and I am taking the whitest uh, shimmery shade I have in there and putting it in the corner of my eye and then also above my eyebrow just to give it just a little pop. And then I'm going back in there with my favorite shade again just or the lower my lower lash line just to make like a smoky effect at the bottom of the high ho diggity and there you go guys there is my finished product look i hope you guys really enjoyed it and if you guys really liked the video please comment subscribe and like and that'll be it thank you Thank <laughs> you.